this video is going to talk about the gradient mesh and all the wonderful things you can do with it and how to get started so I'm going to try to make it short but you can do a lot of great things with the gradient mesh in Illustrator the tool is it's amazing I done created I have created some nice pieces seen better from others but I'm self-taught so I'm steady growing my skill is ever expanding I learn with every piece I produce I try to focus on something new so with that being said to get started I usually open up the file uh, whatever pitch I'm working on I open it up and bring it into Illustrator and if the picture is 10 inches, I work on that 10 inch size. Um, first thing you do on the layer, you go to that, that, that one layer you should have in Illustrator. You change it, check temp, uh, double click on it, uh, check template, and change the opacity to 100%. And this will allow you to work with outlines so I think is um, view go to outlines so you can go go to view and go to outlines you'll be working this way basically working blind throughout this whole process clicking back was clicking the outline on clicking it off and seeing what it looks like both ways and that's the first thing you do and all the other layers you create would go above this original image layer and so you put it as a template and you lock it so everything else will go above it so you'll be able to see the original image along with your artwork you're producing the thing is uh, Illustrator doesn't work like Photoshop so on Photoshop you would put the original image you're working from on top and change it to overlay or multiply or whatever but illustrator you want to put that image on the bottom and leave it there let that be your bottom image and put everything else above I get a lot of questions people ask me do I uh, do I use Photoshop to edit and it's a yes and a no I use Photoshop to edit the original image before I start to work in Illustrator to uh, change the lighting um, clean up areas that I want I don't want in the image but some people create gradient mesh in Illustrator and take their finished product into Photoshop to add textures that's fine I, I, I don't work that way I just what I've produce an illustrator I bring it post it wherever I post it or I'm done so everything I do is illustrator done completely I mean that might change here in the future I mean but right now that's what I'm doing and I'm self-taught so the way I do things and you watch my other videos and see how I create hair or create <clears throat> the actual arm you might see it different differently done elsewhere but I taught myself I spent eight months busting my butt trying to learn this one tool in Illustrator so if you don't agree or need have suggestions on ways I can do things differently or or you also if you have suggestions on things that you might want me to create a video on just let me know I try my best to get started on it uh, but that's just a quick way to get started because that's the problem a lot of people have with the gradient mesh they don't know where to start so just bring that picture in like I said and double click on that layer uh, and click template 
and change the opacity to 100%. And this is so you'll get the best color out of your image. And if you want to work with more than one image, you have to start off with both of those images. It's somewhere on your palette. Now, if you start on an image and you see something else you want to bring in, work on a new image and a new Illustrator file. Because when you use your eyedropper, if you use that new image in a, a file you already started with another image, once you bring it in, once you start clicking with your eyedropper, it'll start pulling uh, the color of your layer. If you do this, you'll understand what I mean, but it's hard to explain. So if your layer color is green, it'll pull green instead of the color you want to pull from the image. So if you work on more than one image, start out with your Illustrator file with more than one image from the beginning. And if that, if you choose to have another one later, work on that new image in the Illustrator file and copy and paste and bring it over to this separate docu document. That's just another problem people have run across. And I also ran across that problem when I was getting started and I had to figure it out. So for whatever reason, Illustrator won't allow you to work that way. But, and don't forget to use your shortcut for eye dropping and uh, you do this I use a Mac which has been causing me problems lately and that's why I haven't been posting videos or anything but on a Mac you click on the eye dropping tool then you click on the gradient mesh tool and the shortcut will be I want to say the alt option key and it'll switch between the two tools so you don't have to keep going up to the uh, I'm sorry the direct select tool click on that first then the eyedropper tool so when you go in between your mesh points you can just hit the option tool and it'll switch between the two it'll save you a lot of pain in your wrist or just aggravation it'll add it'll cut off on your you're uh, selecting the color and move between points. It'll cut it down dramatically. But right now, that's all I have for you. If you have any questions, tips, or suggestions for videos, let me know. And I'll try my best to get done, get it done. And until then, you guys have a good day.